This screencast will show how to copy a, an ebook Mobi file for Kindle to a real Kindle, supposing that you already have the Mobi file on your hard disk. If you don't yet have it on your hard disk, if it's been emailed to you, for example, as an attachment, another screencast shows how to save that attachment to your disk. In this case, we've already saved it to disk. I'm going to open a file browser. I right-click on the Start button. Click on Open Windows Explorer. Now, I want to find the ebook. Ebooks that you might be emailed will typically end in .mobi. So I could search my computer. I could go to Computer, or I could go to Local Disk C, and search for a Mobi file. So I'll click in the search box, and you can see I've already searched it before, so it offer, offers me this. I can just click here to search for asterisk.mobi. And up comes the list of Mobi files. Now, we need to pick which one you want. Uh, this one will do. Later, in a moment, we're going to attach the Kindle to the PC. And then we're going to drag it to the PC. Now I don't really want to drag it to the desktop, so I'm going to, while well, I still have the right mouse button, I'm going to hit Escape to make it let go of that one. Okay, this is the one I'm going to copy to the Kindle. I'm going to move this fairly far to the left to give me plenty of room. I'm going to open another file browser. I right click, choose Open Windows Explorer. Now I have a second file browser. Now I'm going to plug in my Kindle. When you got your Kindle, you had a cable. The big end plugs into a USB port on your computer. The small end plugs into your Kindle. So I'm now plugging it into my Kindle. Shortly we should see something happen as Windows detects that, you're at the, that the Kindle has been plugged in. This device can perform faster. Well, I don't care about that because of my particular setup, so I'm going to ignore that. The Kindle has been detected. The Kindle has been opened. We now see it listed in the left-hand side of the file browser. It's given the drive E. Now, it might be a different drive on your machine. It might be drive D or something else. This is the Kindle. If I click here, it opens up the Kindle and you see the contents of it. Windows will treat your Kindle as if it were a hard disk. Where you want to put the file is in the Documents directory. So I'm going to highlight that by left-clicking here. That opens up the contents of that file, of, of, of the Documents directory, over here on the right. So this is where I want to drop the file. This is where I'm copying it from. I'm going to right click on the file and hold the right and continue to hold the right mouse button down. Now I'm going to drag it. And I'm going to drag it over here. I don't want it to copy to miscellaneous. I don't want it to copy to Martin. I want it to copy to pull it down here and it should scroll down to copy to documents. Alright. As long as you're not over a directory. It'll let you copy to the folder named Documents. So when it says Copy to Documents, I le let go with the, with the right mouse button. I get a little menu. It gives me a choice of copying it here or moving it here. And what I want in this case is to copy it here. I don't want to remove it from my computer. I just want to copy it to the Kindle. So I click Copy here. Copying one item, 248K, and it's finished. Now, if I look in the Kindle, if I, for example, search the Kindle, search it for, it was named Stormy something. So let's type Stormy and presto. There are several versions I have on it, and there we go. It has now been copied to the Kindle. Let's eject the Kindle from the computer so that you can unplug the cable. I click on this. I, well, I right-click on this, 
and choose Eject. Safe to remove hardware. Now I can unplug the cable. So I unplug my cable. Now I could turn my Kindle on and there would be a new book in it, the Stormy file that I could read on the real Kindle. That concludes this screencast on moving a Mobi file, copying a Mobi file, from your computer's hard disk to a real Kindle.